Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's going to be reviewing a Silverado ZR2 Bison with the 6.2 V8. Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Jerry Signer Chevy here in Salt Lake City, Utah, for giving me some time with this truck. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you're going to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a naturally aspirated 6.2 liter V8 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 14 around town and then 17 on the highway with power outputs being 420 horsepower and then 460 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood first off, this is a pretty cool metallic gray, but you guys can see blacked out here on the top and then we got our 6.2 L badge as well and then popping down below really cool headlight design and then you guys can see with the rest of the grill how it's blacked out got the zero two badge there and then you've got the chevy flow tie as well and really chunky recovery points down below we also have fog lights built in and putting it all together with the AEV bumper that's been added to this Bison package, it makes the ZR2 look a whole lot better in my opinion. Obviously makes it better off-road because of the durability of that bumper. I mean, look at the stock one. Look at that compared to that. How can you say no to this? Now around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 275, 70, 18 in the front and over in the rear. And you can see with the wheel design also looks really cool with this particular package. Again, I like this a little bit more, than, or not a little bit more, quite a bit more than the stock wheels in the ZR2. Aggressive all-terrain tires. This is lifted a couple inches, just like the Trail Boss. And then you've got these fender flares that connect nicely with the bumper in terms of the finish. And then you can see with the ZR2, badge right there blacked out mirror caps blacked out door handles and then we've got rock rail protection as well and then popping here to the back we've got the multi-matic shocks with this we also have leaf springs and then here's your full side view with the zr2 silverado and then taking a look at the key fob we have our lock and unlock function remote start we got the tailgate drop down and then the chevy bow tie there on the back and then taking a look at the rest of the tailgate this has the multi pro so first off this can do the cool drop down function which is nice turns into a step and everything and we'll fold up the rest of it in a minute but pretty easy to use and then we've got our led lights here on the back we also have a full power outlet and i like how chevy always does bed liners or i shouldn't say i'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure they always do. I've, i never see trucks without bed liners from the factory anyways lifting it up easy to get into place pretty cool taillight design you guys can see the aev badge and then we've got the cool matte black accent here on the tailgate and then we've got the upgraded bumper with this again really rigid recovery points and then down below you can see the higher clearance exhaust tips and we also have a full-size spare putting it all together let me know your thoughts on the design on the exterior with this bison package zr2 now take a look at the door panel. You've got this design here to make it so it's easy to clean. And then I like this trim that goes across. Got the neon stitching as well. And then more storage down below. And I guess you could kind of use the rock rail. Like you could use it as like a sidestep in a way. And then the easy to clean design continues on the seats. Also have the behind the seat storage. Perforated all down the center, which is cool. And then got more storage underneath. Flat loading floor in front. And then legroom in the back's really good. We also have a little storage pocket. We've got some cup holders here. Then you can see vents. We've got the USB ports. You also have heated seats. And then cup holder armrest in the back. And headroom. It's good. Now take a look at the front door panel again. Easy to clean design. Got that cool trim piece and then neon stitching down below. All of our window controls, front two are automatic. Your mirror adjustments, the mirrors do power fold in. We also have the memory seat function, speaker for the Bose sound system. Blind spot monitoring with the mirrors. And then with the 6.2, 1,084 pounds of payload capacity with this package. And then our towing capacity is 8,800. AEV in the headrest. And then you guys can see perforated all down the center with the easy clean seats. Power adjustments on the side. ZR2 right there. Got our parking brake here. Controls for the heads up display. And then you've got your drive mode select here with your drive line select and then your tow haul mode select all built in there. Light controls next to it. Steering wheel is power adjustable. Now 
here's a look at the steering wheel. You guys can see soft touch all around. We also have paddle shifters on the back for the 10 speed. Radio controls are also in the back of the steering wheel. Got controls for the center stack, voice command controls, cruise control with our heat steering wheel button. And then we have our turn signal windshield wiper stock. And then here's the gauge cluster, fully digital. And we can use it to scroll through and see different bits of info on the truck itself. We can also go to the tow haul mode. And then we also have a sport mode, an off-road mode, and then a terrain mode. Uh, off-road mode is for high-speed off-roading, terrain mode is for rock crawling. Now we have a 360 camera system here, so bird's eye view, and then backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. And, I mean, resolution, really good with the camera system. You can see it of a bunch of different angles here with the truck, including the bed, which is nice for a half ton. And then as for the rest of the infotainment system, you've got that auxiliary screen here on the side. You've got the main screen, all responds pretty dang well. Has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and a shortcut bar here. And then you also have a couple physical buttons. And then we have this for the lane departure, parking sensors, auto stop start. You've got your tailgate drop down, hazard lights, stability control, hill descent control, your rear locking differential, and that's for your front locking differential. And I like the trim piece that goes across. Trailer brake controls. We've got this for our climate system, so dual zone climate. We also have heated and ventilated seats in this area, and I like the finish on the buttons. It makes it feel a little bit more premium. More storage here. Got a couple cup holders. Got your shifter for your 10 speed. And even the center console has that easy to clean design, which is cool. And then you guys can see with the wireless phone charging pad, USBs, full outlet as well. And then look at the dash. And there is a heads up display. I don't know if it's gonna pop up on camera though very well. Trust me, it's there. But yeah, nice trim on the dash. And I like this on the outside too. The stitching goes across pretty good storage and then down below so pretty good storage as well and then we have a camera rear view mirror and then power sliding rear window uh no center on this one interesting now take a look at the window stick you guys will see 2024 silverado 1500 crew cab zr2 four wheel drive all of that um a lot of stuff is standard equipment base msrp is 69,900. now the bison package is 8440 and you can see not only does it add the bumpers it also adds some skid plate protection underneath and then the wheels and all of that then you got the tech package with this 62 v8 which has an upgrade 84,000 is the total msrp and uh, this particular truck happens to be pre-sold so we're not gonna be driving it i've driven the zr2 with the 62 v8 quite a few times and I guess, yeah, we'll just cap things off with me telling you my thoughts on this versus the diesel, which I'm pretty sure this ZR2 over here has the diesel. Uh, it's just a regular ZR2. I guess if you're looking for one, they've got they've got the six. Well, that one's sold, but 62V, it's diesels all the time. Yeah, this one's got the Duramax, which is cool that the badge is actually blacked out. Um, I still prefer this engine, the Duramax, and the ZR2, especially with this AEV package, because this is about overlanding. Overlanding is all about fuel range, which the Duramax is going to provide more fuel range because it gets better fuel economy. I mean, if we actually take a look at the window sticker on this one, sorry, I'm taking you guys all over the place. You can see 2022 for the MPG, which I mean, 14, 17, right? It's not like there's a huge difference, but I mean, that's a, in my opinion, that's a big enough difference between both of the trucks. And so I'd say that, yeah, I'd still prefer that powertrain. And for some reason, that powertrain is less expensive than the 62 V8, which is so crazy to me because I feel like the Duramax is a more premium <laughs> powertrain. Let me know your thoughts on the AEV package. I still think, like, if I were to name a truck for truck of the year for the 2023 sales year, I think it would be this truck because it looks great. It doesn't have the highest payload capacity, which is a little bit of a downside, but it looks great. It's super capable off-road, and you can get it with a diesel and... It's, it's a little bit more expensive, but I feel like this is a truck that you could keep for, you know, 10, 20 years. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on the Zero 2 Bison, and let me know if you'd go 6.2 V8 like this, or if you'd go Duramax. I, I'm still Team Duramax.